speaker. Uh, Andrew, you're up there if you want to lead us off. There it worked. All right. Um, I had to yep. click three times there on the mute. Hey, Jordan, um, off, you guys have I think, 48 combined starts back this year with the offensive line. This time a year ago, outside of Charlie and Nick, and then Nick got hurt early, there wasn't much experience. How much have you set, noticed a difference with just the chemistry? Just everybody kind of knows what they're doing more right now as opposed to this time a year ago? Yeah, I think the uh, – the chemistry is really blown up out of the roof just because uh, we've had a whole entire off season in this uh, style of offense with Coach Longo. And then with uh, the incoming freshmen, they've been on the ball with trying to learn what's going on and like really just trying to figure out uh, where everyone's moving and all that. And uh, our chemistry is just amazing. We're, we're a family on the O-line and we're excited to all, all put in work. Mac? Even back in the spring, Mac uh, told us that Awesome Richards had been doing really well, and he was gonna, he was slotted at that time, and I guess he still is right now. What can you tell us about his game and how you've seen him develop over the last year to where right now? I guess he's either a starter or competing for a starting job. Yeah, so uh, Awesome came in with great footwork. He was a little light for um, what he what he is now, but he came in with great footwork and just building on weight and just getting stronger, and then as well as like. Help me and Charlie helping out, helping him out with like technique and stuff from a tackle perspective. He's turned into a different monster, and he seems ready to go. And I trust him. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. All right, over to Ross Martin. Yeah, I was going to ask about uh, Austin Richards as well, but I'll ask about uh, uh, Joshua Zudu. Uh, Jordan, could you kind of tell us about what he brings uh, to the guard position? Yeah, he he brings a. There's really no drop off from him and Marcus besides the size. They both they're both very intelligent. They both know what they're doing, and they both like they they want to win games. And uh, he's he can hold it down on the left side with helping out with uh, awesome. Just because me and Marcus are on the right side, knowing what we're doing, and be, uh, Brian's in the middle, so he can easy. He's, he, he's definitely turned into a leader. And, and what's happening at the center spot? I know Brian played a lot last year, but you have a young guy in Ty Murray. Yeah. Um, it's beginning of fall camp, so they're definitely um, mix matching uh, reps, and we're seeing who's going to run with the ones come first game. So I think it's going to be an interesting battle. So right now, I think DA's definitely got uh, experience and intelligence uh, just a little over time, but Ty's got a, got a nice edge to him. And I think it's going to be a great battle. Awesome. Thank you, Jordan. No problem, Ross. Okay. Uh, over to Greg Barnes. Hey, Jordan. Um, Coaches talk a lot about how important chemistry is with the offensive line. Uh, when you're in a situation where you don't have spring practice, you can't really get together during the off season until you, know, you get to July. Uh, have you seen rust in that regard? I know you guys have had a couple weeks back together, but only two days now or three days now in, in actual training camp practice. Have you seen some rust? Um, I'm not really, I don't think I've really seen any rust because uh, – uh, we all challenged ourselves to really like dig into our playbook and to just because we were away from the uh, away from Chapel Hill doesn't mean the work stops. So I I challenged every everyone on the O line to just go out there, get your plays done, and know what to do when we come back. So there's no problem, there's no drop off, and there hasn't been. And with you, know, Mac has talked a lot about the importance of, of depth. Uh, we know about you know, the the blue team guys. Um, has the has the white team guys have, have they they shown out and they they seem to be in, in pretty good shape along with you, you your group? I think they uh, they've definitely made steps in progress, but they definitely do have a ways to go before. I think I think the build between trust uh, between the coach and the player is going to be strong, or it has to be strong. And uh, Mac told us the other day he wants to be able to play 10, 11 offensive linemen if we can. And with the group that we have now, I believe we can. So it's really just dependent on. Uh, who the coach trusts or not. When you guys look back to the, you know, a large number of sacks, I, I know some of that can be attributed to the, the quarterback as well as you guys. Is, is that a focus for you guys? Has that been a talking point? That, hey, we, we've got to cut those down for this year? Yes, it's definitely been a talking point. Uh, we had too many sacks. I gave up too many pressures. I, uh, I, we've all been our own biggest critic when it comes to the sacks. And uh, it's just not something we want to do when we have a great QB like Sam Howell who, can definitely be in the Heisman race this year if we keep them clean. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah, no problem. Great, Jordan. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you.